Hi everyone, thanks for making the left turn and welcome back to the Jack's Left channel and another episode of History Jacksonville. I'm very excited to be in front of the old Jacksonville Police Department headquarters. It served as the headquarters of what was the Jacksonville Police Department from 1926 to 1975. Uh, and I want to point out uh, some unique things about uh, this building. Uh, it was built in 1926 and it was built in what was called the Second Renaissance Revival Style. And one thing I want to point out to you uh, is the, the ridged columns and the ridged uh, uh, facade right here uh, in front of the doorway. And also, uh, there are urns, decorative urns, along the tops uh, uh, of the top of the building. And also, uh, inscribed uh, on the top of the building uh, is JPD, standing for Jacksonville Police Department. Uh, back then, uh, from the 1920s till 1968, uh, Jacksonville, uh, the Jacksonville Police Department was uh, the law enforcement uh, for the inner, uh, what we now know as downtown and the inner city of Jacksonville. Uh, so uh, it wasn't until 1968 that Jacksonville uh, became known be, uh, as encompassing the government uh, and uh, it became essentially the Jacksonville Police Department essentially uh, merged to become uh, part of the Duval County Sheriff's Office and so now it's called the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. But before that, uh, the police department would patrol uh, in the, what we now know of course, you know, here's downtown Jacksonville and the older neighborhoods surrounding downtown Jacksonville. So this building served uh, Jacksonville's law enforcement needs uh, downtown and the inner uh, neighborhoods uh, from 1926 up to 1975. There was a study that was done in 1966 uh, called Blueprint for Improvement and as part of that study that looked at all of the different uh, uh, parts of the uh, city and county government, uh, it was uh, determined that this building uh, was not uh, adequate, that it was severely inadequate uh, to the needs of uh, the police. So. Uh, there was a, a move then after consolidation to go ahead and bring the police department into the sheriff's office. And in 1975, the uh, Jacksonville police, uh, the police component of the uh, uh, of Jacksonville and what became the consolidated government was moved over to uh, what's now the police memorial building. So uh, this building has quite a history, though. Uh, you know, for a while after 1975 until the mid 80s, it was abandoned. But then it was renovated. It was renovated to become what is now the Florida Department of Law Enforcement's Regional Crime Lab. So people are still in this building, still trying to figure out who done it. It's just a different group of people. Uh, and so uh, if they're wanting to find out, uh, I guess, uh, did Mr. Green hit uh, Miss Scarlett over the head with a lead pipe in the dining room, chances are they might find out about it right here uh, in what's now the, uh, the crime lab. Uh, now, there was a gymnasium attached to the building as well. Uh, but that was torn down and a modern or 1980s style modern addition was uh, constructed appended to the side of the building. So I'm so glad that I've had the opportunity today to tell you a little bit about Jacksonville's history, a little bit about uh, the history uh, and heritage of Jacksonville, where we're coming from, and maybe as we look back at where we've been, we can think about where we're going. And this was a classic example, uh, as you can see, of a renovated uh, uh, headquarters, uh, renovated building, uh, where uh, the building essentially had a second life uh, to it. So thanks for watching. Please keep watching the Jack's Left channel. There's a lot ahead with History Jacksonville, who runs Jacksonville, as well as uh, uh, I on the Jacksonville City Council. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.